Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, we're gonna be building a chicken water today. Uh, we just wanna show y'all how we're gonna do it. Our chicken coops back behind our house pretty far. We have to drag the water hose out every couple days to water them. So we're gonna try to build a system where we only have to uh, fill up their water like once a month. Um, it's kind of muddy back there, so we're gonna start at the carport and build everything we can here and then move back there. Um, so Reed's here with me to help. Easton's gonna be behind the camera over here. Um, and we may have some other family members join in when they get home. So this thing right here is the uh, most important thing. Um, I looked all over for this. This is a piece that's gonna go through this can right here. And uh, then we're gonna attach our two inch pipe to. Um, after looking all over the place, I found this at Tractor Supply and they're the only place that I could find in our town that carries them. Uh, I went to two or three major like uh, uh, plumbing supply companies and also Home Depot, they did not have this. So we're gonna cut a hole through this and this will go through and then thread on and then we'll attach our pipe to it. Um, the other thing we have is chicken nipples, obviously. We're gonna use those in the two inch pipe. And then this, you could do a, you could just cut the money that you spend quite a bit if you want with a five gallon bucket, but we decided to go with this. Uh, this was about $22. A five gallon bucket is about four bucks. That would save you a lot of money if you want to go cheaper. But so far we've got less than $50 in this whole thing. Uh, so we're gonna cut a hole in this can. This is gonna go through it. Then we're gonna attach our pipe to it. And then the nipples are gonna go on the pipe. Um, and then we're, if, if we have any problem with algae inside this, we're just gonna put a little bit of bleach in there and we, I think that'll uh, uh, take care of that. So, and then we also got some uh, concrete blocks. I got those for free. We're gonna put the uh, bucket on that next to the coop. And then we got all our fittings and pipe and stuff right here. So, we're gonna get a table set up and we're gonna start. And like I said, we'll move, once we get done down here, up here by the house, we'll move where the coop's at and we'll go from there. Bucket set up. We got the, the, the threaded piece through the, the can and uh, up at the house. And now we're down here. We got our base built. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to cut a little hole in the uh, side of the coop through the wire, go through that, and then take the pipe down and into the coop. And that way they have water, whether the coop's open or closed, it'll be in there. All right, everybody, here's the finished product. We got the, um, the can here on the base. It goes through the side of the coop. And then we have the chicken nipples down here on the bottom. Um, we got one way down there at the end. Um, underneath the coop, we've got a broody hen in there. We're fixing to get some uh, fertilized eggs and, and uh, close her up in there so that uh, hopefully she'll hatch those so she'll have water in there also once we close that in um, we're gonna let it dry here a little bit and then fill it up with water I refill her up all right everybody we're done it's full of water nothing's leaking um, as you can tell in the video, Reed did most of the work I, I videoed. Um, he did a great job. If y'all have any uh, questions,
questions or want to say anything, just leave it in the comments and please subscribe. Thank y'all.